I can call this meeting of the uh, first Monday in March of the County Commission to order. Um, at this time, uh, I'd like to call uh, Reverend Michael Taylor. Well, there he is in the corner. Okay. Come up and have a prayer for us. This is a solemnizing prayer. Um, the four of us need the wisdom of Solomon up here at times and are lacking it. Uh, so, um, Reverend Taylor, we'd like for you to start that at this time, and then we'll go right into uh, um, having our Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Commissioners, thanks for an opportunity to be here today. Lord, we come to you in your name today. As you bless the county commissioners, dear Lord. Thank you for the time that they spent in preparation for this meeting today. Thanks for the work they do and the love they have for Rowan County, dear Lord. God, and leave this meeting today in Jesus' name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of all of this, I'd just like to uh, have good wishes to our Salisbury girls basketball team and the West Rowan girls basketball team who are both playing for state championships is coming Saturday. So if you've got a little time off at 2.30, you can see the West Rowan girls at the Raleigh Coliseum and um, what? Five o'clock or five thirty? Five thirty for five. You said five. Five o'clock for the girl, uh, the Salisbury girls, and they'll be playing at Chapel Hill. So we are very blessed with some real talented girls in Rowan County. Uh, at this time, uh, I'll take a motion about uh, considering any additions to the agenda. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to add. Um, Two additions to the agenda. Like them ever how you want. One of them is for the Board of Commissioners. Uh, we approved extra pay for the Sheriff's Department and detention workers at the detention center. And we need to add that, I guess, to the consent agenda. I'll make that 3A. Hey, uh, Mr. Chairman, put this on uh, regular, discuss. They yeah, put on 3A. Yeah, oh, that, that's okay. Okay, I thought okay, you put in consent. Okay. Gotcha, no, gotcha. no, to yeah. the regular agenda. Then the second uh, addition to the agenda is for uh, for pay for the deputies that pay deputies rank lieutenant and above the rate of time and a half. Uh, and I'd like to add that to the regular agenda. That one, three B also. A motion to uh, accept these changes. So moved. Thank you. Are there any deletions to the agenda? I, I got that backwards. I know. I should have done deletions first. And then approval. Any deletions to the agenda? All right. I move approval of the agenda as amended. So moved. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Now have a set agenda. Uh, is there any public comment? I don't think there's anybody in here that doesn't work for us, is there? But for Connie. Connie. We could give Connie a job too. <laughs> All right. Um, if, if you have looked in your package, you will see that we have gotten a letter from the uh, Attorney General about an opioid settlement um, for North Carolina. We have received we do. Uh, approximately $12 million addition to, to the first settlement that we had received. What they're doing is suing companies and now suing uh, Walmarts and other folks that distributed these drugs 
And uh, so there may be some more settlement of this before it's all over with uh, for the opioid catastrophe that we had in this country. Um, One of the things we need to do is to approve or disapprove the resolution for this. The resolution by the County of Rowan authorizing the exec, uh, execution of opioid settlement and approving the supplemental agreement for additional funds between the state of North Carolina and local governments on uh, proceeds relating to the settlement of the op opioid litigation. Um, I'm asking for a motion. I'll that. make that motion. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? So, uh, okay, I don't guess there's anything else we need to do with that. That's, that is settled. Okay, it is. Um, I, I need to do three. Um, <clears throat> at this time, uh, we have um, chosen to add uh, 3A uh, on here and Final. On February the 6th, let's see, let's see, we haven't approved that yet. Board of Commissioners, uh, uh, <coughs> Sheriff is asking for sheriff deputies and detention officers who work in the detention center jail outside of their normal work schedule. The understanding of this uh, approval was that it was for sheriff's deputies, detention center officers, and employees who are non-exempt. Sheriff is requesting that this pay be extended to the deputies or officers ranked lieutenant or, or who are exempt. Um, and what they're asking for is time and a half uh, for these officers who are working in the jail. And we'll now hear discussion on that. Motion. Mr. Uh, Yes, I need a motion first. We're going to discuss it. All right, I'll make a motion to authorize the approval of extra duty pay for sheriff's deputies and detention officers, ranked lieutenant and above, at the same rate, time and a half, time and a half regular hourly rate for each hour worked in the jail outside normal work hours of time taken during the normal work schedule, effective March 19, 2023, and ending July the 8th, 2023. Thank you. Um, is there any discussion? <clears throat> yeah, the only thing I want to like to do is just because um, I know some have already worked. Can we just backdate that to February sixth? So the February sixth agenda item approved it to start on February nineteenth, so that it would start at the start of a pay cycle. Okay. So the sixth one went back to the February nineteenth. So if we're wanting to go back to the sixth, then I think that. Oh, well, then if it was the 19th, what, whatever, I just want to make the, the field easy. Because I know some lieutenants had worked since okay. then, so so they can get paid for that. All right. We'll make a motion that we backdate it to February 19th. February 6th. I think she said it didn't go effect till 19th. The one that you approved on the 6th was effective February 19th. Okay. Second. All right. It's second to that. Yeah. Um, I just have a couple of questions. Um, do they current do these officers currently get overtime? 
No. Not. Not not the lieutenants. They they get um, um, they get straight time. So if they work over forty hours or in you know if they work if it's the law enforcement schedule whichever one it is you know they get time for time. Mm -hmm. but, but what this is doing is making them eligible for overtime if they work at the jail. Okay and. Okay. Well, they do get comp time. The problem is, you know, being understaffed that if you get comp time up and then I think eventually build up so much doesn't it turn into a big uh, sick day or something. And then it just remains as a as a as a liability. Forty hours of comp time is the maximum. If if they are uh let me say I always say the wrong thing, but if they are exempt from overtime, there's a limit, but if they're not exempt from overtime, there's no, there's no cap. Builds forever. And that's for hourly wages. Yeah, for the, for non-exempt employees. I always get that. Yeah. So for non-exempt, meaning hourly. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So my question is, is why add lieutenants? They're not getting over time because they're exempt employees and so their comp time is capped at 40 hours and we're asking them to work <laughs> yeah there, there's a shortage in the jail and this what this this does is it provides a tool that enables the uh, administration at the sheriff's office to provide an incentive to work yeah. in the in the jail due to the shortage we have well, there's some other basic questions that I have too. Like, for instance, how many um, openings do we have right now? How many openings are there compared to a year ago? Jason, can you help? Is everything I said so far right? Okay, good. Well, you, you can finish up for me. Thank you for, for, <laughs> for hearing me here for a second. Um, so we have about 30 openings, I believe Mr. Kali can verify that uh, overall in the sheriff's office. Uh, half or more of those are in the detention center. The other half is on patrol, uh, which was the other item that we we're going to talk about um, over time as well for them. But uh, for the jail, for the lieutenants, uh, the, you guys already voted on allowing overtime in the jail uh, at the last meeting, I believe, or the one before that. And uh, these lieutenants and that, that rank may not mean anything to anybody in here but me, but, uh, and, and Mr. Kasky, who's familiar with that, uh, they're working lieutenants. They're not administrative people. They're out here answering calls on patrol. They're in the jail working dorms. They're doing transportations of inmates. So they're, they're workers. And uh, they are capped at 40 hours comp time. So what I've got going on is just about every lieutenant I've got in the jail and in patrol has already capped. They already have 40 hours of comp time. And, and let me just clarify one thing. This is not necessary. it's not really overtime. It's kind of extra duty pay that we're approving because in effect, you know, if let's say if someone works overtime at the jail three days in a row, but then when their regular shift comes up, they're sick for a day, they wouldn't get any pay. So what, what, this, what this did when we approved it is similar to what we did for the city of Salisbury and the town of Spencer is Let's the employee guarantees they're going to earn the time and a half, even if they if they're sick or something comes up to where they don't get their full uh, amount of work hours that pay period. So it's capped at forty hours. Does that mean for a month or per year? Forever. Forever. Yeah, that's that's for those that are uh, exempt from overtime. So all county employees that are exempt from overtime can earn up to forty hours of comp, and if they earn over that, they just they don't get anything. It's it's kind of just a benefit for those who are ex exempt from overtime. So it doesn't even get banked. No, it has small time or anything. Not over forty. It has no no value. Um, it's it's really just it, it's a it's a generous benefit that the board gives to those who are exempt from overtime. And what this is saying is that lieutenants who are exempt from overtime that they be eligible for this extra duty pay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm still interested in how many openings we had a year ago compared to now. Do you have that information? Can 
in detention, but not patrol. We've had we've had uh, more recent openings on patrol due to probably about eight retirements. So we had eight retirements. So that essentially opened up eight positions at the bottom, um, which were about 10. I would say we're around 10 openings on patrol right now and about 20 in the, in the detention center. That's pretty much what our number is. So what's the plan then? And I know I'm going off the subject and I apologize to my colleagues, but what is the plan to fill your openings? I have, we're hiring somebody just about every week. Um, our numbers have really gone up on getting people recruited, but it takes several months to get them trained before we can put them to work. Okay. That that doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, can you I can me I can hire five people today, but they can't go to work in the jail right now. Because no, I they, know that. Yeah, There's they have other to, areas in right. county the, government that's so to be way. a certified detention officer. That school's a one month school. Okay, one month. Uh, BLET. Uh, BLET's for the law enforcement guys, and that's about three months. So you takes you about thirty days to get them qualified to go to work in the jail. Um, I would say more than that because we generally bring them in and, and, you know, make sure they're comfortable in the detention center. We have like a field training program we put them through before we send them to school and spend money to pay for them to go to school. We want to make sure they're going to last more than 30 days in the detention center. It's not an environment a lot of people like to work in. So, uh, but yeah, once we, so we, we'll put them in the detention center for maybe a couple of months. And then as soon as we can get them into a school, the school's about 30 days. So we do have several people. We hired uh, two last week for detention. I have two more this week we're hiring on Thursday. So, you know, I, I feel like the numbers are gonna come down in the next six months. I feel like we won't be in the same position we're in. Okay. And when was the last time that we adjusted the pay? You know, the one third, one third, one third. What year was that for the sheriff's office? That would have been four years ago. Oh, four years ago. Okay. Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Vice Chairman Green, uh, procedurally, I, I want to back up for a second. I think Commissioner Pierce made the primary motion to approve. And I think Commissioner Caskey then suggested a change in the date as a motion. But if, if Commissioner Pierce would accept that as a friendly amendment, we can just have one motion to approve it with the friendly amendment to change the date. Um, that way you don't have two motions sitting on the table at the same time. A friend? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So now we have one one primary motion, and that is to approve it with uh, the change in date. Thank you. Okay, so we're all ready. Uh, all in favor of this uh, extra pay uh, for lieutenants and below, above, above, excuse me, <clears throat> that are serving. What? It's below, and then the above. next one is below. Wrong. It's they lieutenant and below. below. Yeah. All right, they do say below. I stand okay. correct. That's okay. My fault. All we need is two uh, two attorneys here. <laughs> all right, all in favor, say aye. Aye. All if any opposed. All right, that passes, and we will now move to the next edition. That is the same. Um, time and a half for um, employees, lieutenant and below um, that are working in the jail at, at this time of shortage. So can we get a motion on that? At the jail, this is for the sheriff's deputies. I beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. this is I'll, make, I'll make the motion. Says, the deputies and detention officers are ranked lieutenant and so this is the one we're on now right here. Uh, now I'm at the other one mark that we already did it. Rank lieutenants and rank lieutenant and below at a rate one and a half. Please. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to authorize the approval of extra duty pay for the sheriff's deputies, ranked lieutenant and below at the rate of one and a half times their regular rate uh, worked as patrol outside normal work hours 
irrespective of the time taken off during their normal work schedule effective February 19th, ending July the 8th, 2023. All right, we have a motion, we have a second. Second. All in favor? Question. Um, okay, so I'm just trying to understand this because I have no real knowledge of this stuff. Um, so when you're working outside your normal hours, irrespective of time taken off during your normal work schedule. Okay, Aaron. Yes, ma'am. Um, is that what you were talking about? If somebody during their normal work of day were to be sick? Yes. Yeah, so they'd still get their full pay. They would still get their, uh, if, if so, if they volunteered to work on, a, on another unit, or is that the correct word unit, another unit, and they went and did that time. And then next week they got the stomach virus for three days. What this does is allow us to pay them for the time and a half and not penalize them for having the stomach virus. So. Okay. But if they're not working when they're sick, then, then what happens? Do they still get paid or. But, yeah, they talking? get their sick time, but see, it, and that's kind of why it's extra duty pay because if it, if it were regular overtime, they wouldn't be eligible because they wouldn't have worked overtime because uh, okay. because they took they wouldn't even take their sick time they would just flex that out and what yeah. this does is keeps them from having to flex it out and i think this is through july 8th yeah so this is a temporary okay. measure okay thank you thank you for your patience Ms. Jason. Ms. all right we have a motion and a second all in favor say aye aye all right now we're board appointments. <clears throat> um, on the board appointment, uh, motion to approve David DeGrave uh, for a county seat to the Cleveland Community Volunteer Fire Department Fire Commissioner. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Um, motion to approve Carrie Mills or an at-large seat to the Historic Landmark Commission. Moved. Second. Uh, have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, motion to approve Ryan Stowe for an at-large seat to the Library Board. So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Motion to approve Todd Kidd for a county seat to the Miller Ferry Volunteer Fire Department's trustees. So moved. Um, have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion to approve Samantha Allen for a county seat to the Rowan, to the town of uh, Rockwell Planning and Zoning ETJ. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Um, at this time, I make a motion that we enter into closed session pursuant to North NCGS 143-318.11 uh, A1 to consider approval of the minutes of the closed session held on February 20th, 2023 as described by NCGS 143.318.10. Uh, uh, providing that uh, minutes or an account of a closed session may be withheld from public inspection so long as public inspection would uh, frustrate the purpose of a closed session and pursuant to NCGS 143.11 A5I to establish or instruct the public body staff or negotiating agent concerning the position taken by or on behalf of the public body uh, in negotiation, the price and other material terms of a contract or proposed contract for the acquisition of real property by purchase, option, exchange, or lease. Now, clear the room and we'll start. A second. Oh, uh, you've got a vote on this? I don't have full mm -hmm. power. 
Any we have a motion and second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Now we clear them out. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to adjourn. No. Wait for Judy to vote here. We've got a quorum. Three of us. Second. Mike, second. second. All right. All in favor, say aye. Aye.